Hey, what's up guys? It's Spagiver out here on the trail. So we're getting ready to head out. We're at the Laurel Highlands hiking trail. Where are we at right now? What is this place? Laurel Ridge. Ridge. Laurel Ridge, General Johnstown. Ridge. And I'm out here with a couple other guys. So who do we have with us? We've got Gary, yep. AKA Doddles. Yep. We got Meerkat back yep. there. And we got Jason, frozen. What's up? So we're gonna go hit the, hit the trail and uh, see how the weather treats us. It's not looking good. <laughs> We're about uh, 0.67 into the trail right now. It's our short day. We're only doing about 14 today. So, uh, you know, just starting to get warmed up. Had to take his jacket I'm off. I'm tired, man. I need a break. You need a break? I need a break. I think, whew, I think we probably should have taken about two already. Yeah, we should have. <laughs> but, you know. Right next to the road right. would be good, too. So we just passed a trail that said Laurel Highlands Hiking Trail, and that's where we are. So we're going to keep going. We got movement too. This is an action shot. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? So we are just over five miles into the trail right now. We just passed mile marker 65, and uh, we're here. There's a uh, turn off right here for shelter, and uh, so the guys went down to get some water. Meerkat needed some water. He didn't have any. So <laughs> the last five miles, he's come without, without water, and it's all been uphill. So about five miles uphill, uh, give or take, about 3,000 feet of elevation gain. Uh, but it's been a good, good morning. It's been, it's been chilly. I think when we got out of the car, it was about 41 degrees. And uh, so as we gained elevation, it probably dropped another two, three degrees. We're probably high 30s up here. Uh, sun did come out for a few minutes, which felt really nice, but it's gone now. Some dark clouds floating around. So we've got some, some cool packs out here. So Jason's got his Arc Hall. We've got a ULA Ohm down here that, that Gary's using. Meerkat has a, an Arc Blast. And I've got the Appalachian Ultralight Custom Speed Pack that in 40, uh, in the 40 liter, uh, and it's been working great for me today. You know, it's it's not a, a heavy pack. I think it was like 9.7 ounces is what the thing weighs. Carries really nice. I've got four days worth of, uh, you know, it's four days, three nights. I've got my kit in there. I've got enough food. I've got water, uh, and it carries pretty darn nice. I think when we get done with this trip, I will do a video where I show you what's in my pack. But the guys are down there getting water. As soon as they're back, we're going to hit the trail and, and keep going. We're uh, five miles into a 14-mile day. So see you guys in a little bit. So it's about 3.20, we're just pulling into to camp here. Uh, got 14 miles under the belt today. Good good first day, we had a good climb to start the day, but uh, I think everyone's feeling good. How are you guys feeling? I'm feeling great, that was a good hike. Awesome, good. what about you Meerkat? Good first day. Good day. Yeah, good day, so now we got a good campsite up here. 
turn you guys around and let you see. So we're gonna come down here, check it out, scope out some good spots, and uh, looks like we probably have it to ourselves. Get set up, get a good fire going, and uh, see what's what's around. Cool stuff. I mean, this is a pretty uh, pretty impressive camp. You've got shelters up in the woods, up there. You've got, I mean, like a bunch of freaking shelters and stuff. This is pretty pretty cool. Picnic tables, water, pump water over that way. So, uh, hey, they've even got. They've even got doggy, doggy poop bags over there. So, you know, if you if you can't make it to the uh, the privy, you got something to clean it up with. Cool stuff. All right, so that's not a shelter. You don't want to sleep in there. You, yeah, you, you probably can. Probably not. Probably not where you want to though. <laughs> is what we got for the night. Cool deal. We got water right here too. I do I like this one. Yep. Gary, you're not afraid anywhere we want, Gary. Wherever. Gary, you didn't bring a hammock? No. You brought a tent? You know this is an all hammock trip, right? No. There you go. There you go. We're good. So we've got camp set up. Got my my setup over here. And now I'm using the pullouts. So the three of us here all have the uh, hammock gear Cuban fiber. Two of them with doors, one without. And I'm using the pullouts like this with my trekking pole pulling it out. Whereas the other two are doing the uh, pull over the top this way. Um, which does, if you push it out, it does actually uh, give you a little bit more room inside than what mine does. So that is kind of kind of a nice nice thing you could see how much room they had in there uh, mine's not quite pulled out as much as theirs is but actually for tonight that's probably better for me uh, because mine's a little bit lower on the sides and I'm gonna keep mine a little bit more tight just to uh, keep the wind off the wind has been whipping pretty good and I think low and tight is gonna be a little bit a little bit better for me tonight than wide and high so we've got three three setups here and then we've got a a tent <laughs> but at least it's a cool tent it's a tarp tent Henry Shires makes these uh, they're pretty awesome awesome things uh, I've been using them for a while well used to before I went to the hammocks so something cool here we've got the uh, blackbird in here set up and this is Jason frozen from outdoor adventures this is his setup of course Gary's in the in the ground and then over there we've got Meerkat set up. He's got the uh, the same type of setup with the poles. Pretty cool. Uh, just a, a gorgeous spot up here. Really, really nice setup. And we've got a nice picnic table over here. So we're all hanging out. Talk with you guys later. Got some uh, dinner going. Frozen's got his dinner going. Mm -hmm. Guess what it is, though. Guess what it is, though. Oh, I know what it is. It's beef stroganoff. Beef stroganoff? You don't like beef stroganoff, do you? I hate it. Hate it. <laughs> Worst dinner ever. My son, my son doesn't, doesn't like it either.
So right here I'm standing in front of one of the shelters here and uh, pretty pretty cool. So the way these shelters work, you've got a little platform area in here. You've got a shelf and some hooks on each side. And then what's really cool is when you get in here, right in front of you is a fireplace. So you can have a fire going, keep this place warm. I think that's pretty cool. And there are like five or six of these around. There's another one right over there. There's one over there. One down here. One over behind my tarp over there. So quite a few of them around. Um, very cool. Very cool. Got the, uh, the fire started over here. A little bit smoky right now. We went and grabbed a bunch of wood. Part of the, uh, the deal here is you get wood with your paid registration. Uh, so you have to re reserve your sites here and then the wood is free. So we went. It doesn't help. I'm just playing. Guess I gotta go work. So here's a uh, meerkat setup. He's got the war bonnet, war, <laughs> the war bonnet blackbird, and then he's got the uh, enlightened equipment revolt and revelation 10 degree quilts. Uh, quite a bit of loft there. Looks like a, a cool design with the uh, these baffles just kind of sewn in the way that they are. Uh, a little bit different than than most of the ones out there. Different than anything that I have. You know, the one that the one that stands out to me that this is probably the most like is the Carolina Reaper uh, from local Libre gear, but but this one's just a, a little bit different there. Uh, and here's the top quilt up here. Good deal. And if we walk over to Frozen's, same deal. He's got the uh, War Bonnet Blackbird and Enlightened Equipment both under and I believe top quilt in there as well but I think he's rocking uh, a little less cold I think his are the 30 degree uh, as opposed to the 10 degree over there then if you come over to mine I have <laughs> a 40 degree Phoenix under quilt and a 50 degree Loco Libre ghost pepper top quilt so that's what I've got for tonight um, now I, I was considering bringing my I was considering bringing my new quilts from underground quilts and uh, after today I probably should have it's uh, it's probably gonna get down into the upper 30s tonight if not lower than that um, they talked about the real feel forecasting like 31 degrees for one of the nights we're out here and a 40 and a 50 degree quilt I have taken them down to 34 degrees but that was with the top cover on the chameleon so I'm gonna keep that tarp nice and low tonight try and make up for the fact that I don't have that um, should be cool though we'll see I've got my my base layer on I'll probably wear everything I have to to bed with me to try and stay warm let's check it out over here we've got the fire going everybody hanging out everyone's had their their meal I had the uh, packet gourmet ramen rescue tonight and that, that was actually pretty good a little, probably a little pricey for what it is that you actually get but it uh, worked out worked out pretty well I, I liked it the uh, little sriracha packet really kicked it up a notch so we got our picnic table over here cool place to hang out and eat and cook we haven't burned it up yet so that's good <laughs> No, we have not. Because that'd be bad. And then there's uh, actually toilets, little privies over there that uh, have toilet paper and hand sanitizer. I'm Hour still 15 minutes, living the <laughs> life of luxury. I'm still amazed. Hour 15 cool. So we got a little gear coming out here. And, uh, the Frozen's uh, demonstrating how we use this this piece of gear. Since there's some rain forecast in the in our future, 
<laughs> the rain kilt came out. I don't know. I don't know about this. Not the problem your, with this thing. Not your yeah. style? No. The problem with this thing is I can wrap this around myself almost twice. Yeah. Granted, I'm a small dude, but I shouldn't well, you, be able to do that. That's, you need a little leg room. Dutch, I need you it's to have little, small, medium, and large sizes this, dude. It's a little long, too. It is a little long. I think you might trip over that. Yeah. I might try. Like <laughs> yeah, that is kind of long, huh? That is. It's like. <laughs> wow. Like if, if I stretch oh, it out, it's shoe. below my shoe. Your shoe with a big hole. <laughs> yeah. Las Portivas, man, they're still going though. Yep. Whatever. As long as they last for this trip, I'm good with that. Taking a little bit of time to unwind and get ready to go to bed. I'm going to do a little bit of reading tonight. Got a long day tomorrow. We did 14 today. Um, got about 21 tomorrow. Laurel Highlands hiking trail. So far, so good. Uh, it's been pretty pretty decent. The weather today was a little bit chilly. Uh, like I mentioned early early in the day, it was it was pretty chilly. I warmed up a little bit towards the end of the day, and then turned out to be pretty nice, but it's cooled off. It's down in the 40s again. Low tonight's supposed to be about 43, so I'm going to be pushing it a little bit with the 43 quarter under quilt and the 50 degree top quilt, but I think I'll do okay. I'll just make sure I've got my my clothes on in here, and uh, yeah, so far I'm I'm pretty comfortable, and looking forward to it, looking forward to a little bit more. Um uh, you know we've got three more three more days of hiking and it's going to be going to be good it's pretty awesome to get out here with with some guys i haven't hiked with before and and get to know them and uh you know it's just been it's been enjoyable it's been something that you know i was looking forward to and it's living up to it so should be should be good and uh looking forward to some good pour over coffee in the morning so We'll get that going, and I'll, I'll try and record a little bit more tomorrow. Uh, today there weren't a whole lot of great views or anything. We were in the trees a lot, uh, but supposedly coming up the next couple of days, we've got some good views. Hopefully the rain stays away. Uh, there's a lot of rain in the forecast over the next three days. Tomorrow we're hoping it's going to stay away. We'll see. I don't think we, we have much chance of it staying away uh, Friday and Saturday, though. I think we're going to get nailed, but... We'll see. Who knows? It could turn and go the other way and we'd be okay. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go do some reading, fall asleep, but I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Thanks.